Welcome to FIFA Ultimate Team. Yes, guys, you heard that right. Welcome to Ultimate Team. Welcome to the first episode of Skilling to Glory in FIFA 18. This is the first season, and as always in the first season, we're going to be trying to reach Division 1 and obviously win it as well. That is going to be the aim for the first season. In Season 2, we're going to be trying to unlock all the 5-star skillers as per usual. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. If you are, make sure to leave a like on the video. It would be very much appreciated. And subscribe if you haven't already. So on your screen, you see the first thing that is uh, somewhat different compared to the previous uh, years of Ultimate Team when you actually start with your new club. Um, we actually are able to choose a starter pack uh, which is actually based around a certain nation. We have England, Brazil, France, Argentina, Germany, Italy, Spain, Portugal, and the Netherlands. Now, my aim was to make a starter team around uh, La Liga or the Ligue 1, and I've actually decided to go with the Spanish League since it had some better non-rare looking players, in my opinion. So um, I decided to choose that nation, and uh, the first player we do get in the pack is this guy, Prito, plays for Real Sociedad. Not with the best stats, 48 pace, 46 defending only, so I'm not really sure where we could maybe uh, put him into our squad but um, as you can see we also got a bunch of other Spanish players including this guy only with 31 pace again not the fastest players we get um, in our starter pack but uh, we got a pretty decent striker on the bench here Roger plays for Levante 81 pace 74 dribbling 72 physical and 75 shooting he uh, could come in handy as a, as a striker for our starter squad so um, these are all the players we got Again, mostly Spanish. That is obviously because we uh, decided to choose that nation. Then uh, we also are able to get a high-rated loan player. Now, the way this works is very simple. Um, after you get that kind of pop-up, you have to uh, select a position. And based on that position, you get a player. So I decided to go with the striker since I wanted to get a really good striker at the start of Ultimate Team. Obviously, can score lots of goals for us. Um, I was thinking of maybe going with left midfield and potentially getting Cristiano Ronaldo. But uh, since he was available in the catalog, I was thinking... We should get a, uh, a striker. So decide to go with Griezmann instead of uh, Suarez. Uh, the main reason was because he had an extra game. That was uh, my main reason, basically. And he still had some pretty good stats. Uh, then moving on to the kits. We can obviously uh, change the kits whenever we like throughout the whole of Ultimate Team. But I decided to go with the home kit of Poland and uh, the away kit from Kaiser Chiefs, both from Nike. And uh, as the badge, I've decided to go with the AC Milan badge. Really nice one, in my opinion. And um, yeah, this is what it looked like. And then, obviously, the most important thing, uh, the rewards. Uh, this is what, obviously, everyone is excited for each year when they start up their ultimate team. We got three all-player packs, and uh, we also got some kits, the EA Access Home Kit, and I think we also got the uh, two Team of the Week kits from FIFA 17, which uh, look pretty decent. Uh, I decided to store them in my club uh, because I thought that everyone would maybe use them at the beginning, so like I would kind of avoid uh, the kit clashes. But um, yeah, moving on to the packs. In our first pack, we got a pretty decent player from Arsenal, a Premier League player in Coquelin, and uh, he's obviously a Premier League player, and Premier League players at the beginning of Ultimate Team always go for a lot of coins, so um, he would be a, a good player to sell on. We also got a Spanish left back, which uh, maybe could potentially be a starting player for our starter squad. Now moving on to the second pack, we got a rare gold player in Bia, a Belgian player from Kayseri Sport in the Turkish League. Has some really, really good stats. Um, if I wanted to go for a Turkish starter team, he obviously would be a perfect player to uh, have in the squad. Four-star skin with four-star weak foot, and uh, like I said, some very good stats as well. Uh, we also got another Spanish player, a gold player, a center attacking midfielder with, I think, four-star skin with as well. And then uh, we're already moving on to the final pack, which was a non-rare player from the Italian League. Uh, let me know in the comments down below how your starter packs were. Um, I only got the three all-player packs, but um, in my main account, I got some more gold packs and stuff to the side as well, since I obviously play more ultimate team throughout the year on that account um, i've seen some people packing icons out of these packs so uh, if you haven't opened them uh, definitely be excited for them i remember i think last year on the playstation 4 i managed to get a inform uh, straight away in my first pack uh, which was pretty awesome anyway the first thing i always try to do is complete the manager task at the beginning of ultimate team and you can see that they've actually changed they've decided to call them starter objectives and uh, we now have five different tabs we can't um, like unlock them all in one go because we first have to uh, unlock the first tab, then the second tab, then the third tab, and so on. But we also have these daily objectives, which uh, obviously change every 24 hours. I'm not too sure what the reward is, though, because I think I've only done two, and every single time I got a lone player, which was, I think, 83 plus rated. So 
If you know more about it, then let me know in the comments down below. Uh, it might be just a lone player every single time. I'm not too sure. Anyway, another thing I always try to do at the beginning of Ultimate Team is go to the catalog and obviously unlock the coin boosts. Now you can see I'm low on uh, the EA Sports FC coins, which you can see in the top right hand corner. I only have a little less than 7k and I'm only level 44. So I wasn't able to get Ronaldo straight away, but on my other account, I actually am. So um, I can easily send over some of the lone players to this account and still play with them. Um, I've decided to only uh, unlock the, uh, the coin boost since it is actually the only thing you can transfer over to a different account. So if you're on a low level like me, like I am on my Road to Glory account, uh, then uh, make sure to check an other account or maybe check one of your friends' accounts and just ask them if they could maybe uh, send some stuff over to your account and uh, maybe help you out. Anyway, also another thing I wanted to do at the beginning and also uh, in this first episode was uh, take a look at the squad building challenges. Um, most of them are the same compared to FIFA 17. We also have the gold upgrade one, which is one of my favorites. And we also have the league uh, squad building challenges. The Super League one, we have a very nice looking version of Ricardo Caresma. 86 rated 5 star skill with his amazing stats. And uh, if we unlock him, we also get 25k. But the thing is though that he will be very expensive at the start of Ultimate Team since I think that most people want to get him. Uh, we also could get the Liga, the Max one, which I think is a, a special version of Kinyak, but he's not really a player I'd like to get. Let me know in the comments um, if I should get uh, Ricardo Caresma. It will be uh, something tough to do, something uh, tough to complete, but um, it's definitely something I, uh, I might consider. Anyway, moving on to the first squad button challenge, which we actually are going to complete. It is a very basic one. Uh, where you can get a two uh, rare player pack or two player pack actually one rare player one non rare player um, What you have to do is very simple uh, You just need to uh, to complete them with some of the bronze players you get at the start of ultimate team It's very very simple It's uh, I think something everyone is able to do and then as a reward you get the Xbox one home kit Or if you're playing on the PlayStation you get the PlayStation home kit and uh, like I said before you get the two player pack as well So moving on to the store we got four packs in total three bronze packs, which I wasn't really excited for um like you just need to get lucky in these packs basically i think we got a couple spanish players which you could maybe use for a starter team or something but um i'll most likely just use a full goal team anyway uh once i've sold most of the players but you can obviously use these uh use these players for squad button challenges further on as well the only pack i was sort of excited for was this one the two players pack one guaranteed gold player and uh one of them is rare as well and uh, we actually were very lucky to get a player with the screens already at the start and it was going to be a brazilian center back from Paris Saint-Germain, not Thiago Silva unfortunately, but we got the 83 rated Marquinhos with some uh, pretty good looking stats. It would have been insane if we got a walkout in our first proper pack, but unfortunately we uh, we got the lower version of, uh, of the Brazilians, we got Marquinhos. Still good stats though, 83 rated, 71 pace, 84 defending, 78 physical, and uh, he'll definitely be a player for our starting squad. These are all the players we managed to get in our starter packs and also some of the packs we got from, uh, from obviously the squad building challenge we did. But um, you can see a full Spanish team. Uh, we're looking to make a full uh, gold Spanish team in the next episode and obviously play some games. But um, definitely make a good decision in what kind of starter team you would like to make because uh, the starter pack you get at the very beginning uh, which you can select the nations and stuff from um, could be very very useful uh, for your start in ultimate team so definitely make sure to uh, to make a good choice of that but anyway guys this is pretty much going to be the end of the first episode really hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye